Well, hello, welcome back, guys. Happy New Year. This is Sa this is Sally here at Source Furniture Bargains out here in the Midwest, Kansas City, Missouri. I uh, know it's been a long time since I shot a video, but now I'm back. Yeah, I'm back with the whole bang, with the whole new year. And today we have a big banger for you. We have a Martin, Don a Martin, Martinson, Stevenson home. That's the brand. And here I have a glass TV stand, a very beautiful piece. Uh, it's a TV stand, but it can also be work, uh, used as a credenza, buffet table, or a dining, ta dining, dining room server. Well, hey, join me on my journey. Hey, we're going to put it together now. You'll see how beautiful it is towards the end. All right, like again, like remember I said, our first tool is always the box cutter, the knife. All righty, and here I got the instructions. Probably that's what it's going to look like. All right, we'll go ahead and open up the box. I already opened it up. And we'll start setting the pieces up differently. And then, like I said, remember, normally I tend to look at the instructions to figure out what kind of, what kind of tools I'm going to use. So from the looks of it, it does not use that much. So this normally comes where the locks, so you set it up and then you lock them in place. You set it up, you lock it in place. It comes with the actual locks. So probably the only tool that I'm going to use is just going to be a, a screwdriver. Yep, which I'll grab in a minute. I think I can grab it right now. All righty, I got the screwdriver. So we'll go ahead and set it up. And then we'll put it together. All right, so they recommend. All right, so... All right, let's see what else we got. So, oh yeah, the other thing is it comes in a teal, teal color, kind of like a greenish color. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to need is going to be this right here. Oh, the glass. I got to put these back so that they don't fall out. All right, I'll push this back, push it back. Oh, my God. Well... Some of them fell out. Ooh, no. I'm probably going to have to try. So, okay. It's at the top. We got the bottom. We don't want the glass to fall out. All right, we're going to start off with this. It's a heavy piece. Ah. All right, what I'm going to do is try to make sure that the glass does not fall out. All righty, so, right, so we're going to start off with that piece. Got the top. All right, all right, I'll start off with this piece right here. A1. And then I'm going to get the other piece. Top, bottom. And then I'm going to get the, this piece right here. See, we should see it, right? Now, so this piece just locks right in there. Oh, yeah. You push it down, and it goes in place. And then we get the we get the back piece. Is that right? Put this piece. So sort of slide the back piece in there. This is one of those where that's <laughs> light. And that in there. Okay, it's in there. Is it locked? Make sure it's locked. Yeah, and then we get the... That's why I'm standing right in the back. So we get D. And with that, and then we flip this over. Please don't. 
Now we're gonna hook up the legs. Now we're hooking up the legs. Oh, this, this is one of those really expensive pieces. And I know for a fact, and I'm surprised that I haven't seen any damage to it. Because so, it was in the box and everything was all loose. Uh, I've been doing this for about eight years and so far in my eight years of doing this I've only gotten two pieces of this same company and it was in a blue color it was a nice piece I think it was about the same piece but in a blue color well I take my hats off for this company because they really do a good job with their furniture pieces and they, like they really feel like the real pieces when you see them it's not your normal everyday kind of pieces of furniture they start they tend to stand out so i'm done with the bottom piece with the legs so now i'll be jumping on to so since i'm by myself they i'm getting the instructions that are telling me to lift the whole thing and set it up on the bottom piece but if you buy yourself this is what i would recommend for you to do probably now what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab the top hook up the top and then flip it over on a piece of cardboard so that was, because you don't want to scratch up your top but i'm going to put a, a, a cardboard right there and then uh, hook up the top put the cardboard right there flip it over put it on and then put on the bottom which will also be easier for me to see what I'm doing instead of it, me having had time to maneuver around. So, yep, I'll go ahead and do that. Not a single damage. I wonder what happened to this piece. Okay, so. Yep. And then what we're going to do is once you get one side in, you have to make sure you start locking it. Otherwise, it'll, it'll act like a pivot. So if you don't lock, start locking from one side, one side, one side. Every time you try to make it sit, it will always be like pivoting from one side and shift. So the best thing for you to do is just open this up. All right, now that we're done with the top, it was a hustle. Sometimes if you're having a hard time turning those knobs because they get too hard, what you can use is either just grab a screwdriver, just a screwdriver here and just push it with your finger. Because if you don't have some really hard, hard fingers, it's kind of hard to turn the knobs. All right, now that we're done with that, all right, what we're gonna do, So like I said, grab that, and then we're going to flip it over. This is normally when you're by yourself. It's easier. All right, so now let's turn it like that, turn it over. Let it turn it over. Now we're going to do the same thing that I did, did earlier make sure that all of them are open none of them are locked open 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 and open open make sure all of them are open open yep now that i got all of them open so now, get to. I think you can. This is how if you if you're not able to tell the difference from the top, the, from the front to the back. See, the front has that curved side, 
and then the back is all the way flat. So now we have, so now the back, well, the back is facing us. So what's going to happen is I'm just going to grab this and set it up like that. Good job. It's on. I'm just going to use a soft mallet. Alright, so we can mount it outside. All right, so while I'm still out here, I'm just gonna go ahead and put on the the door arms. Yeah, they have these really, really beautiful door door arms, and this is where they the screwdriver comes in everything that i i uh, put on i i really didn't need it there was not i didn't use any tools so now yeah we'll get to put the arms in there yeah it's not that hard so all you do is just put this on there and this on there i'll go ahead and turn it around you guys will be able to see that I gotta clean up. All right, so now what uh, uh, everything is done, I'm gonna try to clean it up, and then we'll move from there. Remember, guys, this is the part I always like showing. If you're working by yourself, you gotta be careful. So now I'm gonna show you a best way to flip it over. Because right now, this is the bottom. You see the legs, so I'm gonna flip it over, and you can see exactly how I do it. And that's how you do it. If you are by yourself, but if you got help, use it. Don't try to force it. All right, so if you by yourself, all you do is just push it down. All right, and then so when you flip, I got longer arms, but so and then you flip it out. But you gotta be a little bit faster because you don't want the weight on the legs for too long. So like that, because otherwise, if you take too long lifting it up and you take too long, all the weight shifts on the legs, chances are you're gonna break the legs. And if the legs break, you might as well throw it away. All right, so we'll dust it off. really looks like oh completely forgot i gotta put the shelvings in there so we'll go ahead and put them in there there's gonna be four on each Three, number three, number three. Okay, now I go to the next one. Number three, number three, number three, number three, number three, number three. All right, then we'll grab the shelvings. 
that I put on the sides. There we go. Alright guys and there we go there you have it it's all done brand new and assembled it's a Martin Svensson 63 inch TV stand that's what the website says so these uh, it's a uh, uh, giving it a red I would definitely rate these uh, and almost an 8 8.5 it's a really really good brand yeah uh, and the quality you can always feel the quality by the weight of it this thing is it's heavy so the quality the weight also tells you how quality especially if it's not uh has a lot of metal pieces in it so they i didn't see any single metal piece the only metal piece that i saw was just this so the rest is all just plain wood so it's a beautiful brand so martin svensson i would rate them an 8.5 a really good brand they make some really beautiful furniture hopefully sometime here real soon you're going to see another video there i'm going to make another one of their brands and you guys will be the judge of it. Hey, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Uh, share. Yeah, thank you for joining me and enjoying this whole journey. I'll see you soon.